Peace and blessings, man. My bad for the technical difficulties. The spot where I record at, there was a whole bunch of people there. So probably won't be going to this spot no more. But we live, man. We live, man. If you're just tuning in, man, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This one's for this video, guys. All my live streams, all for the chosen ones, all for the anointed ones. This one's for y'all, man. Understand this. When it's time to level up, it's time to let go. Okay? You gotta let go of certain people, certain things. And you gotta understand this. You have to understand this. You have to, bro. You have to. When your life is getting harder, or when your life is when you like life is getting harder, um, it's requiring change because it's God requiring you to change, guys. That means you're about to level up, or you already have leveled up. Okay, when God's removing the dead weight, just like in the airplane, like I always told you guys in the airplane, right? Let's say you know, some of you guys have went on a flight before, right? And the flight was delayed because something was wrong with the plane. Before the, the, the plane could take off, they, they had to make sure the gas was there. They had to make sure everything was right. And before God's about to take you to the next level, he got to make sure everything's right. He got to make sure. And see, that's what, that's what requires faith. And that faith is required works. You need to change. Okay. I'm ready. It's one minute in. I'm ready preaching. What's up? What's up, young Vic? What's up, Brant? Mark, give us a woo. Oh, I will. <laughs> I will. He said, Mark, give us a woo. Let's go, Mark. Thank you. What's up? What's up, Boogie? Shalom. What's up, Mel Ross? I'm going to greet the people. What's up, Earth Angel? I have a flight tomorrow. LOL. What's up? Shalom, shalom. You know it's already classic and marks on the roof. Yes, yes. Y'all already knowing. Yes, yes, man. What's up? What's up, people? I'm telling you guys, y'all got to get rid of the dead weight. And he, Oh, we got to know this too, right? The demons and the spiritual realm, devil, saying, right? He knows when you're about to level up. He knows when your breakthrough is coming. He knows. But you don't know. You don't, you don't know why your life is getting harder. You don't know why God's removing the dead weight, why God's removing uh, certain people out your life. You have no idea. You have no idea. It's because you're about to take off spiritually, emotionally, physically. I mean, you're about to glow. You're about to level up in life. And I'm telling you guys, the devil, it's just like these demons, right? These tears, they, don't, they want you to stay stuck. They don't want you to get to new heights and see every time it's time to elevate, it's to require separation. Look at the people in the Bible. Even Jesus, he separated from his people. He, it was time for him to elevate. He went to the mountaintops alone. He told his disciples, hey, bro, I'm doing my own thing for a little bit, okay? Even Moses, Moses had to separate himself. The great leaders, they all separated for, for a certain time, okay? For a certain time, not forever, obviously, okay? Even they had to do it. So sometimes, guys, you got to do it too, okay? You got to separate from certain people and, you know, maybe get your spirit right. Hey, I'll talk to y'all tomorrow, bro. I'll, I'll hit y'all up some other time, okay? And see, your real friends, the real people who really rock with you, they're going to respect that. They're going to respect your space. They're going to respect your boundaries. Those fake friends, those Judases, those snakes, okay, who just always want to control you, always want you to be around them, always try to dictate how you move your life. They're going to, they're, the, the horns in them are going to reveal, okay? Those horns, they're going to see those And see, one thing about these devils, right? God always shows us before. He's always warning us. He's always showing us. He's always giving us the signs. We don't pay attention. And I'm, I'm, I'm guilty of that too, guys. I'll be, I'm guilty of that too many times. God always gives, and we always pray, God, you know, give me a sign. God, please reveal my enemies. You out here praying, God, please reveal my enemies. And then you're wondering, well, well, God, why'd you take my best friend away? You know, why'd you take my cousin away? Uh, why'd you take my girlfriend, uh, my, my boyfriend away? You, you out here wondering, okay? You, out, you prayed for God for a sign. You prayed. For God to remove the dead weight, you pray for God to reveal your enemies, and now you're wondering why you're alone. Okay, now you're wondering why you're alone. But see, when it's time to be alone, that's when it's time to, to elevate. That's when. But see, some people when they're alone, though, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this real quick. What's up, everyone? Joining in. What's up? What's up? Oh, someone left a super chat. Let me shout you out. Shout to Money May May. Keep it up. Thank you for the super sticker. Okay. See, when it's time to isolate, right? When it's time to build your spirit up, because that's what isolation should be—to build your spirit up, right? To seek out the creator more in spirit and in truth. Okay, that's one of the main things. There's also other things, but y'all know what I'm trying to get at, okay? When it's time to do that, certain people, they use that time to do evil. They use that time to, to feed into their addiction, to feed into their flesh, because it's, it's tough. When you're alone, but for a short period of time, whatever period God has you in, okay, you might fall into certain addictions. You might fall into feeding your flesh because you're isolated. But you see, when you're, but you gotta understand, look at the people in the Bible who isolated. Even, um, John, okay, the disciple John, he, he wrote, I think it was three or four books in the Bible, and he, he was isolated for three or four years, right? He wrote, he wrote, yeah, I think three books in the Bible, okay? He was isolated. Okay, those books are, 
thousand, two thousand, two thousand and twenty, two, two years, whatever how long it's been, over two thousand years later, we'll still, we're getting that wisdom from it, from that time he suffered. Even Jesus Christ, all the time he suffered, we're now gaining salvation out of it. So best believe, guys, God will never put you in an isolation period where it's not time to gain. Like I said, you got to remove all the dead weight. Before the time, those times, guys, when the, um, the flight, when um, they had to delay the flight because they had to make sure the plane, everything was good. Everything was taken care of. That's why, you know, God's laying your blessing. Okay. And see, sometimes, guys, you could be blocking your own blessings, being around certain people. Because I told y'all earlier, God's giving you the signs. God's letting you know that you're sleeping with, you're sleeping with the enemy. God's really, he's, he's giving you signs after signs and see warning comes before destruction. And we, when you ignore those signs, destruction comes, okay? I actually know someone, man, this is a sad story. I think this, this dude was 19, 18 or 20. And three, four years ago, uh, I told him about the way, the truth, and the life. And, uh, you know, he got baptized, he ended up getting baptized. He was telling people about Christ. And I just heard he passed away. He was at a party. He went the wrong way. And... Uh, I just heard this a couple hours ago, guys, and it's sad because um, you could tell he was, I remember at, at that time period, he was on fire for God, and then, you know, the streets uh, crept back in, and, um, you know, and it's, it's sad, but I know that God, you know, warned him over and over, even me, I warned him, I messaged him, I didn't know what was about to happen in his life, but God's always warning through people, and see, God's always using people to warn you, okay, it doesn't have to be someone, an elder or someone at the church, he could use anybody. Okay, even God used a, um, a donkey in the Bible, okay? So God can use anybody, man. So always take heed to the warnings, okay? Always take heed and see, when you when you get rid of that blessing, when, when you when you let go of that certain person, right? It's gonna sting, it's gonna hurt, depending on how long the soul tie was, depending on how long y'all y'all hanged out together, y'all chilled together. Um, you know, when it's, time to, when it's time to let go, people, it's gonna hurt, but best believe, guys, like I said, when your life is getting harder, it's time to level up. When life is, or, or you already leveled up, or it's about to, you're about to level up. When your life is getting, always keep that in the back of your mind, guys. When life is getting harder, and see when these demons are attacking you, that's a good thing. Check this out. Let me hear me out. Hear me out. Satan does not bother those who are, belong to him. Satan doesn't bother the people who are living in willful sin. People who are not trying to seek out the Father and Spirit and truth. He doesn't. What the heck? There's no threat. He bothers the people who are trying to walk that narrow, straight and narrow. So if you're getting attacked, you're on the right path. So keep that in the back of your mind when the attacks come. Always keep that in the back of your mind because understand that, dang, I must be a threat to the kingdom of darkness. I must be a threat to the kingdom of Satan. I must be, <laughs> you know, because I, I remember there was a time when I was, you know, on that broad, broad, wide gate that many are in and I wasn't getting attacked. It was always, it was only when I try to do the right thing. I try to be, you know, righteous. That's when the attacks came. So best believe guys, if you're getting attacked right now, okay, understand that, wow, I must be a, a, a prized possession to God. I must be a prick because the devil doesn't bother those who, you know, the devil's not bothering um, uh, little Nas X, you know, these Satan puppets. He ain't bothering them. He's rewarding them because they're doing his will. God has his will. Satan has his will too. Okay. Satan has his chosen ones. God has his chosen ones too. Okay. The chosen ones of, of God. We're, and he's like, oh, let's talk. Let's talk. See, I was cold because it's cold. That's why I got my little coat on. It's cold, but the Holy Spirit's firing me up right now, guys. And let me shout you out. Shout to, oh, dang. Shout out to Jordan. You have to super chat his facts. I'm trying to elevate. I have to separate now. All they do is hate. All praise the most I got. Oh, yep. When it's time to separate too, guys, when it's time to separate, they're going to hate. People are going to be, oh, you're weird. You're crazy. The low vibrational people. Oh, yeah. They're going to hate. I remember that. I appreciate the super chat though, bro. Shout out to, um, it won't let me click. Oh, sincerely, Kayla. God bless you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, sister. I appreciate it. Okay. So let's talk about this, right? Let's talk about this, man. So always keep this in the back of your mind, guys. Always keep this in the back of your mind to be grateful for life. Because like I said, I was saying earlier, I know someone who was 20 years old who just passed away. Okay, be grateful for life and understand that to, even waking up is a blessing. He's to, he didn't even make it to 25, bro. He didn't even make it to 25. And, you know, you know who knows what happened to the soul? Who knows? Who knows, man? But I just want to talk about this real quick too, man. When it comes to spiritual warfare, when it comes to fighting against the enemy, don't, don't focus too much on that, okay? Yes, you're getting attacked. Yes, it's a spiritual warfare, but you want to focus on God's word, okay? Because if you just focus on the attack, you focus, that could cause depression. That could cause, you know, spirits to come in, okay? So don't be focusing too much. That's what the Bible says to meditate. The, the, the man who's blessed meditates day and, uh, day and night, okay? So you don't want to be focusing on the attacks and who's being used, the agents. You, you want to be focusing on that. Focus on meditation, bro, God's word. Don't be focusing on the evils, man. Now, there's nothing wrong to know about, you know, certain things that are happening, but you don't want to keep your whole mind centered on that. 
I just always learn people who come into the truth, right? And they learn about the Illuminati, they learn about Freemasons, they learn about all like this, you know, the satanic stuff, right? And they just focus their mind on that. They don't focus their mind on, you know, Christ, on heavenly things, on the, on the scriptures, and they don't grow spiritually, okay? The only way you're gonna grow spiritually, guys, the only way is by not loving this world. When you love this world, that is a spiritual death sentence, man. Okay, and many people, many Christians, okay, they love this world, they can't give it up. Okay, and not what Mark Messenger says, what God says, if you love the world, the love of God is not in you. That is deep, bro. That is deep. That is deep. If you love the, look at everyone in this world, they all love this, they all love this matrix, <laughs> this material world. You know, most people do. Not everyone, of course, but most people do, man. Most people do. And see, when it comes to spiritual gifts, right? That's what we should be seeking. That's what we should be, you know, asking God for, for spiritual gifts. So don't worry about the material stuff. That's going to come. Okay, if it's God's will in your life, you're going to get what you, you know, what you deserve. Okay, because you reap what you sow. But you, we got to start seeking spiritual gifts, man. We got to start seeking faith. We got to start seeking wis uh, wisdom, knowledge, okay? The, the gift of discernment. And see, that's what you, that's what every, everyone watching this video, guys, you got to start, get, get on your knees right now, guys, or maybe after the live or whenever. Get on your knees and pray for the gift of discernment because that's what's needed today, guys. A lot of people don't know between right and wrong. Right now, Kanye West, right? Which I believe is an agent because he's, he's, he's operating under that system, okay? And I do respect him for saying who the true Hebrews are, us so-called, you know, black people. I respect that, but at the same time, he's still down with that, with the Hollywood weird. So I don't, I, I, don't fall for it, guys. Don't fall for it, okay? I don't, I don't, don't follow no celebrities. Bro, let them go. That's the world stuff, man. Yeah, someone said test the spirits. Absolutely. Yep. Test the spirits. Don't fall for the Kanye West stuff. I respect him for saying the truth like, here and there. But see, that's what the saying, that's how Satan lures you in. He gives you a little bit of truth. That's how that's how he's gonna lure you in. So don't fall for the bait. Don't fall for the bait. I know a lot of sheeple, you know, a celebrity says something, now they just, you know, praise them. It's like, don't do that, bro. Don't do that. Okay? So always keep that in mind. And when it comes to these demonic attacks, sometimes you could be getting attacked because you're opening the door. Sometimes you could be getting attacked because God allowed it. We don't, well, let's talk about that, okay? Let's talk about sometimes you get, be getting attacked, guys, because God allowed you to get attacked from your rebellion. From your, even the Bible says rebellion is a sin of witchcraft, okay? That's in uh, 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 23. Rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft, man. So sometimes God sees you, okay, you ain't listening. Just like, just like the sun, right? When my daughter comes in on the earth, right? She's not listening to daddy. Okay, I'm gonna get the belts. That's a, that's a, and the same thing with God. You ain't listening to me. But see, God has a lot of grace, a lot of mercy, so He's gonna give you chances. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give my my daughter chances too. Okay, don't no, no, you know, of course. But you ain't listening. Okay, it's time to chastise you. It's time to get the belt and whoop you, cause you ain't listening. So he, you got to be disciplined. And see, all and being a follower of Christ, he comes with discipline. That's why not many people are followers of Christ. Okay, everyone calls himself a Christian. But you know a tree by its fruits. Everyone's calling and nowadays it's it's a cool thing to call yourself a Christian, but you know a tree by its fruits, okay? You gotta be willing to sacrifice, you gotta be willing to discipline, you gotta be ready to give up everything. You gotta give up everything. A lot of people are not willing to do that, okay? So but it's easy to call yourself a Christian. It's easy to wear a chain on your neck that man, take that take that stuff off, man. Take that stuff off. Someone said, Come out of here, my people. Come out from among the word world and be separate and touch no unclean thing, and yeah, I will receive you. Yep, that's the scripture right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Love you, Mark. God sent me to your page to help me grow. God bless. Keep going. Thank you. I appreciate it. Someone said we spiritual, not religious. Absolutely. And see, us spiritual people, you got to be careful for these religious people, guys, because they're going to cast a stone. They're reli most religious people, guys, not all of them, but most of them are in darkness. Okay. Look at the Pharisees, for example. Look at the Pharisees, religious people, okay? And they hated, they cast the stones at a man without sin. Why? Because they were in darkness. The people who hate on you guys, it's all spiritual. All this stuff is spiritual, okay? We can't see it, but I'm pretty sure, guys, I'm in downtown right now. There's demons walking all around here. We can't see it, though, okay? And so you got to understand, when people are hating on you, when people are jealous of you, when people are envious of you, that's a spirit, bro. That's not a person. That's not a press of spirit. And so you got to understand, you got to be careful when you've got envy and jealousy and hate in your heart because Satan could work through you through that. Okay, who was the first one who was a hater? Who was the first one who was jealous and envious? The devil. So Satan, Satan's looking for you to open a door, small, the smallest door. He's, he's looking, he's looking. He's seeking someone to devour. That's why it says to be watchful. Be sober and be watchful. He's looking. When you have jealousy, you have one small pound of jealousy and hate and envy for your brother or for your sister. He's working through you, man. Y'all gotta stop and get that hate out of your heart. Like I said, guys, there's gonna be hundreds of thousands of people watching this video, and it, the, the likes are not gonna match up. 
They ain't gonna match it. Even though they made it so far, they're not, they're not gonna match it because it's jealousy, it's hate, it's envy, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all some real stuff. And see, when, when, you, when you belong to the body of Christ, when you're a warrior for God, and when people are hating on you guys, that's the kingdom of darkness attacking you. We gotta look, I'm glad you said that. We gotta start being more spiritual. That is the kingdom of darkness attacking you, bro. Time to get wisdom. Time to get knowledge. Time to become more spiritual, okay? And see, let's talk about this, chosen ones. Let's talk about this, right? And you got a whole bunch of demons saying, Mark, who are you to say you're a chosen one? Well, the Bible says, Many are called, few are chosen. The Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse six to, uh, to seven, chapter seven, verse six to eight, that the Hebrews are the chosen people. Okay, we're the original chosen one. So put respect on our name, man. But anyways, okay, you got to understand as a chosen one, you, they're gonna take you for granted. They're not gonna give you your flowers while you're alive. That's the part. That's what Christ. What Christ was on. What, look at everything he was doing, bro. Look at what everything Christ is doing. And see, now I understand. That's all what denying yourself is. That's all what picking up your cross means, okay? When you're out here doing the, the works for the kingdom and they're out here not appreciating you, they don't love you, they're jealous and envious of you, it's like, what the heck? He's out here casting demons out of people. He's out here feeding the homeless, helping the, you know, helping the people. And you hate on them and you're doing the right thing. That's all what picking up your crosses and denying yourself means. Guys, you're going to be taken for granted. Oh, yeah. You know, when you, when you die, then they're going to give you your flowers. They won't give, they, they won't give you the, your flowers when you're alive to smell it. The, no, no, uh-uh. Mm. Look, look what Jesus, the Bible says we're not better than him. What they did to him, they'll do to you, okay? And, of course, there was a few people who had the spirit of love and who showed Jesus love. There's a few people, okay? Uh, but for the most part, they all cast their stones, man. They're de demons, man. I'm not going to say they were demons, but the kingdom of darkness. Demons were using them, okay? Best believe it, guys. When you're on the right path and people are hating on you, it's like, what the heck? If only people saw what I do behind closed doors, but they can't see that because it's jealousy and hate and envy in their hearts. I'm telling you guys, we got to start being, everyone talks about smoking and, and fornicating and all. And that, yes, we should, we should avoid that at all costs, but we got to start talking about the, the, the sins that, that are creeping up in people unawarely. Envy, jealousy, hate. Okay, let's talk about gluttony. People keep talking about, um, telling me about uh, gluttony. They're struggling with gluttony. Okay. And that's, that's also a deadly sin too, guys. Gluttony. Let's talk about this. If you always have a problem eating, right? Or you eat too much. Okay. My recommendation, guys, is to start fasting, okay? Or not just with gluttony, for any type of sins you're battling with, okay? We gotta start fasting. Fasting is gonna build up your spirit, okay? Whether it's for 24 hours, 48 hours, 20 hours, start practicing fasting because what fasting does, guys, it gives you great discipline, okay? It gives you discipline of your flesh. It gives you discipline over your spirit, okay? Also, also, if you have a problem overeating, start eating fruits. Start eating more fruits. Not to say that you gotta go vegan and stuff like that, but the reason why you want to say eating more fruits is because fruits is actually natural, um, actually has this, uh, nutrients in it. The, the meat we're eating today, guys, GMO, pesticides, all that type of stuff, okay? So you want to start eating real food, e eating fruits. Go on a fruit fast, okay? Go on a fruit fast, okay? So if you're struggling with gluttony, gluttony and stuff like that, those type of sins, start fasting, guys, start fasting. And like I said, guys, let me talk about, I got to talk about this because it's, it's on my heart, bro. It's on my heart. When you're chosen by God, you're going to be taken for granted, bro. Just expect it. Just expect it. Because when it happens, when, when you expect something, like you expect someone to, to, uh, to hurt you. You expect someone to lie to you. You expect someone to cheat on you. You, you got to expect it because when it happens, it's like, oh, okay. But you, when, when people treat you good, when people show you love, like that guy who just sent me a cash shot, when people do that, you, you like, what? Okay. Okay, that's, that's just surprising. When people actually give you flowers when you're alive, when people show you love when you're alive, that's just surprising. When people are, are cheating on you, lying on you, not appreciating you, that shit is surprise. You got to expect that. For the people who are of this world, which is most people, the spirit of the world, you got to expect that, bro. You got to expect that from people, bro. So when it happens, you won't feel it no type of way because, like, oh, I already expected that. <laughs> you know, I, I already expected that. So please, guys, understand this, man. Understand this. You got to pick up your cross daily and follow him. You got to deny yourself. He must increase in you, and you must decrease. What does that verse mean? John chapter 3, verse 30 says, He must increase, I must decrease, okay? Your, your, your worldly passions, your, your fleshly lusts, um, you know, all that, all, all that. It has to decrease. In Him, Christ, the, being humble, being meek, okay? The Bible says, unless you become like little children, you shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Okay, what's a trait of, uh, what's a um, child like, you know? They're humble, they're joyful. You don't really see children, you know, hating on other children. Like, you don't really see that. You know, even, like, you know how when the children, they're mad at each other? They're, they're mad for like a couple minutes, you know, two, three minutes, and they shake hands and start, like, like nothing happened. Like nothing happened. But nowadays, guys, the love of many is waxing cold, so we're not seeing that. We're not seeing that, man. We're not seeing people, you know, uh, 
you know, make up and, you know, try, try to work things out. We ain't, see, we ain't seen that no more, bro. You know, a childlike faith. Yes, absolutely, man. He who says he loves God and hates his brother is a liar. Oh, yeah, that's a scripture too, man. Yes. He who says that I love I love God and hates his brother is a liar, man. That's facts. Even the Bible talks about how um, um, it says in 1 John chapter not, uh, chapter 2, verse 9 to 11, it says that he who, ha who he hates his brother and says he's of the light is of darkness until now. Something like that. I don't have my Bible on me, but if you want to read it up, it's 1 John chapter 2, verse 9 to 11. So yes, they're in darkness. The kingdom of darkness is real. The kingdom of God is real. A lot of people are deceived to think they are in the kingdom, of the kingdom of God. They're deceived, man. A lot of them are. Remember, you know a tree by its fruits. And see, one thing about a tree by its fruits, you can't fake that. You can't hide that. That's why Jesus said that because you can't. People could people could pretend well. People, oh yeah. See, I'm not a sheeple, so I'm a lion, so I can see. I can see through the fake. I can see through it all. I might I might say quiet. I might not let you know, but oh, I can see it. When Satan's sending an agent my way, oh I I see it. It just now, guys. This matrix—it's fake to me, bro. I'm telling y'all. Once God gives you eyes to see and ears to hear, it's just like. And God speaks to us, man. God's always speaking to us. And like I said, a lot of people don't listen. A lot of people don't listen. And warning comes always comes before destruction. And when you ignore the signs, hey, you gotta pay the price. And like I said, guys, I pay the price many times. So I'm gonna make that very clear. I pay the price many times, bro. Shout out to um. Shout out to. It didn't let me click on it. Shout out to A Fresh 100. Thank you, Mark, for all your videos. You truly helped me and grow my relationship with Jesus Christ. Much appreciated forever. Thank you, bro. All praise to the Most High, man. All praise to the Most High. And see, let me talk about this. It won't let me click on, on your super chat, man. But I appreciate it. Okay, so it's right there. Uh, shout out to Anthony. He says, for real, man. Started focusing on myself for a few months. And now they're ghosts. Oh, yep. I'm, guys, you ever notice in life, when you're doing well, when you're doing good, everyone disappears. But when you're out here messed up, when you're out here down in the bottom, everyone wants to be your friend. Everyone's hitting you up. All, you gain all the love. But when, but when it's time to rise up, when it's time to elevate, when it's time to actually, you know, get on self-improvement, get on monk mode, see more intention, no fat, when it's time to actually build your spirit up, everyone just disappears. When you ain't trying to smoke no more, now it's like all, all your friends, like, they're ghosts. See, that's what happens. Whenever you're trying to better your life, bro, people just... And see, the reason why they, they feel some type of way is because they're not better than their life. And when they see you, they're a reflection of what they should have been or they, what, they, what they should be doing. So that's why they don't want to be around you. That's why they don't want to be around because they see that, dang, like, they have the opportunity to, just like you do, to get on the narrow path, but they ain't trying to do it. They, they ain't trying to do it. That's why, guys, we got, we're in this time, day and age, guys, we got to let the dead bury the dead. We're in a time, guys, where you can't cast your pearls on the swine, bro. You can't do it. Let the dead bury the dead. But go thou and preach the kingdom of God. Woo! Y'all been saying that. What was that? What was that? Okay. Let the dead bury the dead. And see, when you have discernment, when you have eyes to see and ears to hear, you know when someone's spiritually dead. And they, they, could, they could pretend real well. They could wear on a, you know, a godly shirt. They could go to church, or read their Bible a couple of times. Oh, man, we could see through it. Okay. Let the dead bury the dead. God's speaking to you, man. He's telling me, let the dead bury the dead, bro. Let, let them go. Let them go. Like I said, guys, you can't get to the next level in life holding on to dead weight. Okay, many are called, few are chosen. And the reason why y'all God chose you, that's because you were willing to give up everything. You were willing to sacrifice. You were willing to put in discipline. And no, we're not perfect. No, we're, we're not without sin. But we were willing to, to stand for something. We were willing to follow Christ, even if it came with losing everything. That's why God chose you, man. And the people who were called and not chosen, they weren't willing to do that. They were just being lukewarm. They weren't all the way in. They were still trying to hold on to their you know, certain friends that God didn't want them to be around. They were trying to hold on to old devils. Okay, and you, and you can't serve two masters. You can't serve the, wor the world and God. You can't be of this world and keep all these worldly friends and be of the most high. The, the people are deceived. And see, these people won't be given over to reprobate in mind, man. Okay, see. I told y'all, I told y'all, <laughs> I told y'all I'm preaching today. I told y'all. I need everyone to smash the like button. If you made it this far, you got to hit the like, okay? So you got to understand this, right? The Bible says that those who receive not the love of the truth, God sends them over to a strong delusion. God sends them over to a strong delusion. The Bible says that um, the people who were given over his reprobate of mind, God gives them over to reprobate of mind, okay? So when God's giving them over to a strong delusion and God's giving them over to reprobate of mind, who are you to try to save them? You're gonna curse yourself, try to help these people that God cursed. You're gonna curse yourself trying to, try to save someone, trying to help someone who God is cursing. 
Don't be, don't be a fool, guys. Don't, don't be a fool. Don't be like those foolish virgins. Don't, don't be like them. Okay. Don't, don't be like them, bro. Because that's many people today. We know what the parable and see the reason why Jesus spoke parables, because many didn't understand. They have ears, but they hear not. Okay. They have eyes, but they see not. So you had to speak to them in parables. You had to speak to them in parables. See, the difference between the wise and the foolish, right? The wise are obedient. The foolish were dis disobedient. That's all what it. That's all what it stems down to, you guys. They had oils in their lamps. They were prepared. Okay. The, the foolish ones, the disobedient ones, they were they were serving two masters. Okay. They were living their best life. But the Bible says the heart of the wise is in the house of um, of pain and sorrow, and the heart of fools is in the house of joy. Okay. So yes, you're gonna you're gonna feel lonely. You're gonna feel betrayed. You know they're gonna betray. As a chosen one, guys, you gotta. I told you guys they betrayed Jesus. They're, who are you? Are you better than Jesus? You thought you're you're gonna live your life without portrayal, without people t t uh, taking you for granted. You're gonna live your life where people love, everyone's loving you. Nah, nah, bro. You crazy. You crazy, man. Denise said, "I love you, Mark. I love you too. I love you too." Because his secrets weren't for the tares. Yep, that's facts. Yep. And people keep telling me, Mark, what's a tares mean? But guys, read, you guys gotta make sure you're reading the Bible, man. Because I'm the messenger. I could give you guys a message, but at the same time, y'all gotta be studying too. Y'all gotta be, and that's a problem with law of the sheep. Okay, they're waiting for someone to teach them, and there's nothing wrong with a man, a godly man, or a God that who, got, um, a man who God ordained, a man who God anointed to teach. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you're just focusing on on YouTube, on on Instagram, on TikTok, and you're not opening your Bible, come on, you're not gonna grow. You gotta put in the work too. I put in the work through my faith, and then you got these little Christians, which these are not Christians who tell you, oh, well, all we have to do is just have faith. Faith alone? Nah, heck nah, man. How could you be a man and say that you don't got to put any works? That's some beta male. Yeah, man, that's a, lot of, a lot of Christian man guys are beta males, man. We God's not dealing with anyone who is slothful. That's a deadly sin, being slothful. You got to work, bro. Put in the work. Put in the work for the kingdom. Okay, what, is, what did Jesus tell us? Uh, let the dead bury the dead and preach the kingdom of God. To work. Put in the work to the kingdom. Save souls. Okay, a lot of, a lot of Christian man guys, and I'll be the first to say that they're beta males. They have an effeminate spirit. They let woman rule over them. Don't be like, don't be like that, guys. <laughs> be a masculine man. Y'all gotta let salt, let any woman roll over you, bro. Come on, man. Faith that works is dead. Yep, as a body without the spirit is dead, faith that works is dead also. Someone said, Mark, you have a brother. No, I don't. I don't have a brother. Yeah, I don't have, I, I don't. I don't have no brother. Yeah, y'all spamming uh, faith that works is dead. Yep. Yep, someone said, Yahshua didn't pray for the world, but only those Yahweh call yep that's just facts and even the Bible says that God hears not um, God hears not sinners okay the prayers the, the people who are not doing God's will when they pray God ain't hearing them okay and I know some people get mad at me oh Mark well, where's the Bible verse John chapter 9 verse 31 okay the Christian church they ain't telling you that because they want your money okay they, they want they want to tickle your ears so you can keep coming back to them so you can fill up their collection plate because I'm gonna speak the truth whether no uh, zero super chats or not I don't, I've been on YouTube for four years. I've been doing this. I've been doing this. And they're going to tickle your ears because they know. A lot of these pastors, they know, they know the game. These are your wolves, okay? The people who don't want to tell you the truth, who want to just tickle your ears, you know, and sugar down the gospel, these are your wolves, okay? These are your false shepherds. You got to tell people the truth, whether there's only one person showing up or a thousand. Only one or a thousand, man. And see, how can you, how can you detect a, uh, a wolf, right? A wolf in sheep clothing. If you don't have the gift of discernment, if you don't know your Bible, because when you know your Bible, you can't be deceived by other people because you, you're strong in the word. OK, you're, you're you're not on the milk no more. You're on the meat. You're on the meat. So always keep that in mind, guys, and always keep that in mind, man, when it's time to level up, when it's time to do new, do new things, when God's removing the dead weight. It's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. If you're going to feel some type of way, you know, when your friends don't want to hang out with you no more, okay? they don't want to they don't want to chill with you no more because, you know, you're on your self-improvement journey. You're bettering your life. It's like everyone disappears. I noticed this. Guys, I noticed this in the past three years. You know, and like I said, guys, I'm not perfect. There was times where I backslided. There was times where I did things that I, I, I regret. Okay. So I'm going to make that very clear. Just because we're chosen doesn't mean that we're without sin. But there was a lot of times where I did that, guys. And when I was down and out, when I was backsliding, everyone wants to be my friend now. Everyone wants to hang out with me now. You know, it's just like, oh, man. Tell me this world is fake, bro. And that's why I, I realized, like, how could we love this world? Once God's letting us see that this is a matrix, this world is fake. How can we? I, I can't, bro. I can't. Like, I don't understand how you have people like Lot's wife. 
you know, who looks back. Like once you see that the world is, is done, the world, this world is about to be destroyed, guys. Okay, it's not gonna be destroyed with the flood. It's gonna be destroyed with fire and brimstone, bro. Jesus is coming back to burn the wicked, to burn the ungodly, to burn the sinners. He's coming back in Amos chapter nine, verse 10. Okay, so how, how can you love this world when we know these are the last days? We know that God's about to bring his son back to destroy, you know, this, this earth, okay? You have, you have, they're promoting a show called Little Demon to Little Children. And guys, check this out. Someone left me, someone uh, hit me up on IG. Someone said, uh, Mark, uh, your video, they, they actually canceled the show. I don't know if it was because of my video. I don't know. I don't, that video only got like 40,000 views, but um, they, they canceled the show, guys. The Little Demon with the Antichrist, a show that's tar it's a cartoon that's targeted to little children. Okay, that's how you know we're in the last days. Even the Bible says in 1 John chapter 2, verse 18, little children, it is the last time as you've heard that many Antichrists shall come. Even now, there's many Antichrists, okay? The Antichrist spirit is working. It's working through Netflix, through Hulu, uh, through, the, through some of these churches. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm telling y'all, bro. And see, a lot of people hit me up, Mark, I'm getting attacked. I'm getting attacked by demons. It's because you're about to level up. And those demons don't want you to. Satan don't want you to. Satan's like that, that jealous, envious person who wants you to stay down there. He don't want you to reach the top. He, just like how some of our friends, some of our family members, some of our spouses, they don't like to see us rise, okay? They don't like to see you go to the top because they're, you're a reflection of what they should be doing. And instead of them being happy and motivated and inspired, they get jealous, they get envious. I'm telling you guys, if you have that small seed, because hate, jealousy, envy, it's a seed. Okay? It's a seed. When, 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 someone, when, when you're winning, when God's blessing you, and people start to see that, and they start to operate in that jealousy and envy, it's a seed. And the more God's blessing you, the more, the more, the, the more you're winning, the more you're getting blessed. And all, your, all, the, all that happens, guys, in the spiritual realm, the pouring water in that seed, pouring more water. Oh, you, God just blessed you again? Oh, God just blessed you with another child? Uh, God just blessed you with a wife, a husband? Uh, God just blessed you with a new job, a new business? You're just watering that seed. And that seed becomes a big tree. Okay, now, now it's more evident, it's more obvious that they're hating on you. But see, that small little seed, I can see that small little seed. It don't got to turn to a tree. I can see it because God gave me the sermon. Okay, that's what happens. God, when God is blessing you, oh, people are getting, those devils, they're going to reveal themselves. New levels, new devils. And you got to be prepared. You got to be ready for this, bro. Man, y'all have to be ready for these devils because they're coming. They're coming, bro. And, and, and when these devils come, guys, like I said, you don't want to operate in fear. It's nothing to be afraid of, man. Because we already won the war. All us followers of Christ, all who who, uh, who are willing to do his do his teachings, his word, we already run the battle. So the only thing they could do is postpone. The only thing the devil could do is postpone the blessing, to postpone what God has for you. Okay, and, or or God could be using the devil to test you. Okay, look at look at Job. Uh, God allowed Satan to test Job. It was just a test. And look at all the people around him. Um, his wife told his wife, bro. His wife told him to curse God. What the heck? She's tripping, bro. Shoot me? I would say, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> nah, I'm <laughs> man, 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 that's crazy. Okay, <laughs> let me chill, let me chill. All right, <laughs> all right, all right. But yeah, man. Yeah. Someone said, Joe, my favorite book of all the time. You didn't complain this evening. All praise the Most High God. Yes, I didn't. Yes. And see, it's guys, it's cold out here. I, it's cold, but the, the Holy Spirit firing me is keeping me warm. Woo! It's keeping me warm. It's keeping me warm, man. All praise to the most high, man. And it's a beautiful day too, man. Beautiful day. All praises. Someone says the enemy of household. Oh wait. Wait. Oh woman, look, scroll up. Yeah, the enemies of the household though, yes. Um Y'all know what the scripture says. You know, I talk about that in my videos. A man's enemies will be in his own household. A prophet has no honor uh, in his own house, his own family, and in his own country. That's why sometimes, guys, you gotta leave. You gotta, when, it, when you, the Bible even says, when you get persecuted in one city, flee to the next. Go, so, go somewhere else, okay? Go somewhere else. And you see, sometimes, guys, look, look, at, look at this YouTube, right? Y'all smash the like button. Y'all sending me super chats, okay? Y'all showing love in the comments. The people who know me in real life, they watch my videos. I never see them in my comments, but they watch all my videos. The, the, the support is always gonna, is never going to come from a familiar face. It's never going to come from people who, who you know, okay? It's always going to come from a complete stranger, like like a servant, a, a servant, servant line, a Mariah. You know, all y'all people, I never met y'all. Leak, Leak and I, I never met y'all. Alex Vello, I never met y'all. But y'all showing the most love, but the people who know me in real life, 
Okay, they they ain't really they, they ain't showing no love, bro. So you gotta you gotta expect that, guys. The people, the people who ain't showing you no love, the people you know in real life, that don't don't you know don't really appreciate you. You gotta expect that and be cool. And see, one thing I, I learned about these demons, right? They want you. They want you to provoke you to anger. They want you to be mad all the time. They want you to be yelling and screaming and doing that. So don't do that, guys. Don't do that. Some people, guys, they get a kick off of you doing that because you're that's energy. This is spiritual warfare, guys. That's all energy, guys. So when these demons try to provoke you, and, and you know try to get you out of go out of character, because that's what demons do too, to get you to go out of character. Is see, they'll get you to go out of the character, and then they'll play a victim, and they'll get other people to believe their lies. It's a it's a mind game. It's spiritual warfare, guys. I'm telling y'all, man. When they're doing that, don't let it fade. Just smile. You know, God gave me good teeth, so I just smile. You know, smile. Even though I want to get mad, I, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that no more, bro. I'm not doing that. I'm telling you guys, when demons are provoking you. When someone's being used, just shit. Don't, 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 don't. Just calm down. I understand. But you gotta, but you gotta understand this too, that you're not dealing with the person. You're dealing with the spirit. You ain't dealing with the person. Once you understand that, that you can't give logic to a demon. You can't. You can't. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind, guys. We don't battle against flesh and blood. And I be telling y'all, don't be bringing random people to your house. Uh uh. Mm mm. Nope. Don't be bringing, don't be uh, random people to your house. Cause like I said, people come with spirits. People come with bad vibes and bad energy. And I told you guys, bad vibes, bad energy, that's the devil, bro. And now you're wondering why you got no peace in your household. Now you're wondering why the, the, the demons working through your children. Yes, guys, the, uh, spirits, they work through children too. Not many people want to talk about this, but yes, spirits, they work through children too. They work through your, your spouse. And see, that's why guys, it's important. It's important to give your life to God, to have him fully guide you because if any of those spirits start to work through you, you get corrected, you know, you get corrected. And now, now it's time to, you know, repent. And now we know not to do that type of things no more. Okay. We already know that certain things open doors, you know, certain sins open doors. Right. But also, you know, who you allow in your household. This is the small things. It's the small things that can open doors too. Okay. So oh guys, always keep that in mind, man. Always keep that in mind. It's a spiritual warfare. And see, once you keep that in mind, that's a spiritual warfare. You're more at peace. Because when these demons are trying to get you out of character, when these demons are doing what they do, you know, scoffing, trolling, mocking, right? When they're doing that, you, you, even though even though they want you to react, you have wisdom. God bless you with wisdom. God bless you with knowledge. So it's like, oh, you want me to react. You want me to be angry and mad. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm, I'm, I'm a smile. You know, see, a demon, when the demon sees that you're not feeding off, feeding off that negativity, when well, you're not going back and forth, oh, that demon gets mad. That demon gets pissed off. That demon gets pissed. Because the, the, the goal, the agenda of that demon, it ain't working. And see, when Satan sends an agent, when Satan sends a demon your way to destroy you, and, and that demon, the, whatever goal, whatever mission, by their handler that was sent them, when they fail, that demon gets destroyed. Whatever demon that's inhabiting that person, they get destroyed. I've seen it. Oh, I've seen it. And see, you being a child of God, you being a warrior for God, God fights your battles. Okay? And see, when God's fighting your battles and these other people who are attacking you, slandering you, uh, you know, you know, bearing false witness, you know, going against you, best believe your father, the most high, yeah, he's going to judge them. He's like, oh, yeah, he's going to judge them. Yep. I I've seen it, guys. I've seen it. The people who did you, you chosen ones wrong. The people who hurt you, betrayed you, took you for granted. Oh, they're going to come back and wish. But see, by the time it's time to come back, it'll be too late. It'll be too late. It'll, it'll be too just like Jesus. Let's say it's all that Jesus was the truth. He really was about what he talked about. It was he, he was ready in heaven. It was too late. He, he was ready in the kingdom of heaven. It was too late. Oh no, no, you know, you're, you're real. Oh, you really were the son of God. You know, I'm sorry, that's no, too late. I'm telling you guys, they did it to Jesus, they'll do it to you. Okay, all you people who are really followers of Christ, you gotta expect that. They did it to Jesus, they'll do it to you. Okay. That's all with picking up your cross and denying yourself. Okay, that's all that's all about. And see, this walk, it ain't for the weak. Okay, it's not for the weak. It ain't for people who are just so emotional, always in their feelings. Nah, it's for people who are all about the truth. People who love the truth. That's what it's about, man. Shout out to uh, CW Ministries. For the Super Chat says, super fired up, brother Mark. Appreciate that internal follow. Thank, thank you, bro. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate all this. If I, if I didn't see your Super Chat, guys... My bad, my bad, my bad, guys. My bad. I didn't see your super chat. I appreciate it though. Yeah, that super. They'd be they'd be disappearing after a short while. So my bad, guys. So uh, someone said, um, 
Shout out to Josh. Thank you, bro. Says, I'm 16 and your videos really helped me. I just want to ask if you have any recommendations on healthy food I should get and God bless you. Um, I would recommend uh, you get your vitamin D, vitamin C, and zinc. We're getting into a time where it's, my hands are freezing right now. We're getting into a time where it's about to get cold and this is a time where people get sick. Okay, I'm not a doctor. I got to say this for the algorithm. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a physician. But you want to make sure that you're getting 30 minutes of the sun, your vitamin D, your vitamin C, fruits. Get, vitamin C has, you know, rich in fruits. So like apples, uh, strawberries, cherries, whatever fruits you like. Um, uh, I'm not sure if you're trying to gain weight or lose weight, but I would just make sure you have, uh, make sure if you're eating meat, make sure you're eating a lot of fruits too. Okay, I'm not sure how your diet is, you know, your size and weight, but uh, just make sure you're having uh, healthy meals here and there. You don't want to be eating, you know, take a break from fast food. This is for, this is not just for you, it's for everybody. Don't be eating fast food once a week. That should be like, maybe like once or twice a month at the most, okay? Stay away from fast food, okay? Stay away from like overly sugar food because guys, us black men, okay, I'm just speaking for us because that's what I'm seeing. We, a lot of us don't make it past 60, man. A lot of us ain't making it past 60, so we got to start taking care of our health, okay? We got to start, you know, making sure certain people, because certain people in your life, guys, they could destroy you. Even the Bible says that, that he who keeps company a, a fool shall be destroyed. So the people you surround yourself, the spirits you surround yourself with, so we got to start, you know, taking care of ourselves, you know, and, you know, I, I saw a lot of black men, and they ain't making it past 60, guys. They ain't making it past 60, so we got to start changing, doing better. Uh, the Bible says wisdom gives life to him who has it. So we got to make sure, uh, you know, I'm a spiritual, so make sure we're getting wisdom too. We can take care of ourselves, eat get good foods, eat healthy and all that, but make sure you have wisdom because wisdom gives life to him who has it. Okay, wisdom gives life to him who has it. The stress can kill. Oh yeah, I got stressed. Yep. Someone said evil communications corrupt good manners. Yeah, yep, absolutely, man. You got to be careful. Uh, you guys got to be very, very careful, you know, who you surround yourself who you surround yourself with. Someone said, Mark, can you deliver yourself? Yeah, I have a video on that. I, I was self-delivering, guys. Where I'm at now, guys, I put in the works. I didn't go to a pastor. I didn't go to a church. Nah, I put in the work through my faith. I was 100% committed. I was 100% committed. So yeah, I have a video on that though, on my channel. It's called uh, How to Be Self-Delivered. You guys wanna check that out. Someone said, cook your own foods, people. Very important. Yeah, cook your own foods, absolutely. Yep, absolutely. The chat, I'm super behind on the chat. Uh, thank you, um, Josh says, thank you for all the recommendations. God bless, God bless you too, bro. Thank you, man. Someone says, Mark, what if I feel like I have a reprobate in mind? If you feel like you have a reprobate in mind, you should do what you have to do to change it so you don't have a reprobate in mind. Repent. Like these type of questions, guys, like I told you guys, a lot of the answers to your question, your spiritual uh, questions that you guys have when it comes to how, how your walk is with God, ask yourself, with it. this is why the Bible says to, uh, to, um, it says to examine yourself daily. Okay, examine yourself. So you got to look in, your, in the mirror and be like, damn, what could I change about myself? What could I fix about myself? What, could I, what, could I, what do I have to do to repent from certain things? Okay, Am I living a life of repentance? Am I, am I honoring and keeping God's laws and commandments and statutes? Am I, am I maybe am I practicing fasting? Am I opening any doors? Am I being obedient or disobedient? This is the type of stuff we got to ask ourselves every single day, bro. Ask yourself this every single day. Am I, am, I, am I on the right path, the narrow path, or am I on the broad path? Because if you feel like God's giving over to a reprobate of mind, you're not on the narrow path, brother. Or I'm not sure if it's, if it's a girl, but... I'm not sure if it's a girl, but... You, those type of questions, guys, we got to start self-reflecting, self self-reflecting. Peace and blessings to all. Peace and blessings to you too, bro. Bless you too, uh, Joel. But yeah, man. You guys gotta expect these these demons are coming. These agents, they're coming. Oh yeah, you gotta be prepared, guys. They're coming. And I'm not trying to push fear. I'm just letting y'all know how it is, man. I'm just letting y'all y'all know how it is. Okay, the agents are coming. Be prepared. Say, be sober. Be watchful. Okay, because whenever you try, to, whenever God has you to on a mission to do whatever it is He wants you to do, there's gonna be a demon to distract you. That's what demons do too, guys. They distract you. They distract you from what you're trying to do. They distract you from what you, what God has for you, your plans and stuff. Be prepared. Okay, and see when you're getting distracted, guys, block, unfollow, block, 
unfollow. That's what you gotta do. Like this past week, I probably blocked like over 200 people. I'm not going back and forth, bro. I'm not doing that. That's all energy. Okay, the demons, they want you to go back and forth. They want you to, because that distracts you from the, the main goal at hand, to save souls. So I, I ain't going back and forth. Let that be for the reprobated minds, okay? Let that be for them. Thank you, The Narrow Gate. I appreciate you, sis. Shout out to uh, Danae Ramirez. She says, this past Friday, I took a leap of faith and walked away from president, from being president at a delivery service seven months sober. Yashua said to remember the last time. Okay. Hey, thank you, uh, uh, Danae. I hope I'm saying your name right. You've been on here for a minute. I appreciate you. I I'm going to need some mods in here, too. If I see, um, if I see all, if, I if, I if I've seen you guys in the lives, I'm, I'm going to make you a mod. Danae, you, uh, you've been in here for a minute. I'm probably saying your name wrong, so don't, don't be mad at me. Someone says they feed off your energy. Yeah, so demons do. Yep. It's all spiritual. They feed off your energy. Uh, yep. Someone said, I just blocked six of my family members. Yeah, you, hey, we, got, we got to start doing that, man. It could be family, too. Yep, we, it could be family, too, man. Someone said, Mark is handsome. I just had to say that. I appreciate that. Um, what are you making? Uh, Deanna. Oh, Deanna. Okay, got you. I'll make you a mod right now. You've been in here for a minute. I appreciate you. I pray. I, let me say this real quick, too, before I go on with the message. I appreciate all the supporters. Um, it's a lot of love. If you if you hit me up on Instagram and reply reply back to you, it's because I have a lot of messages, uh, or in the comment section. Okay, I try to reply back to all comments. That's almost impossible, but I try to try my best. Okay, um, if you ask a question that I already answered like over twenty times on my videos, I probably won't answer back. Okay, um, if you ask me to make a video on something that I already have multiple videos on my channel, I probably won't answer back. Okay, so just wanted to say that. Someone says they fail every time. Those demons can't win. The devil cannot win. Yeah, that's true. And see, when the devil does get... See, because when, when you're in a war, right? When you're in a war, you're not going to win every battle, guys. Let's just be real. Let's keep, let's keep it real. You're not going to win every battle. There's going to be times when you lose. There's going to be times where you win. And see, when the times when you lose, it's not an L. That's the time where you learn. Okay? That's the, that's the time when you actually learn. So it's not a loss. Okay, when you, when you, maybe when you have, maybe have, you know, gave into your flesh, it all happens to us, but you learn, you're supposed to learn from that lesson, okay? The Bible says that uh, he who fears God gains wisdom and to depart from evil is understanding. So when you're departing from evil, you're gaining better understanding what you did wrong or why you fell short. You gain understanding, okay? We got, guys, we got to be connected to God, bro, so we can understand these type of things. How can you gain understanding? How can you gain wisdom when you're not, when you don't have the Holy Spirit, when you're not seeking after uh, the Father? Okay. So please keep that in mind when it comes to seeking God. It's all about spiritual gifts, building up our spirit. A lot of people, they, they go to God for bad motives, and that's why you know, they're spiritually dead. A lot of people at these churches, guys, let's talk about that. A lot of people at these churches, uh, not just people of the world, but they're spiritually dead too. Okay, They're spiritually dead too, man. The enemy will use people who call themselves Christians. Oh, yeah, yep. I made a video, guys, exposing the Halloween, uh, Easter, uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all those pagan holidays. You had a whole bunch of uh, uh, Christians in the comments. Okay, these people ain't trying to give up the world. They, they ain't. They ain't trying to give up the world, man. Someone says, Mark. Shout out to Am. She says, Mark, what is God's will purpose for a woman, especially for those who might never marry or have children? What should we, do, we doing as a woman? The Bible says, Am, that you should be using your body for the Lord. If you don't want to marry, uh, the Bible even says those who don't marry do better than those who don't. Because those who marry, they live their life trying to please their wife or their husband more than they try to please God. Okay, so what your duty as a woman, right, is to use your body for the Lord. Okay, so whatever, so don't be out here fornicating. Don't be out here watching porn, masturbating. Don't be doing that. Okay, and just live your life for God. Do God the Father's will. Now, I don't know what God's plans for in your life. I, I'm not God. So I can't tell you what, what exactly plans God has in your life. But that's why you have to seek out God. I, guys, three, four years ago, you think I, I, I knew I would have been on YouTube with over uh, 300 something thousand subscribers? I, I didn't know that. I had no idea. I had no idea what God's plans for me. But see, even though I, I didn't know, I still stayed committed. Even though there was times where I was wondering if God was still there. I, there was, guys, there was times where I was wondering, is God still in my life, bro? Like, God, said, God promises in his word, if I do this, I do that, I'll be blessed. Where's it at? Yeah, there was times where I, I, you know, I didn't question God's existence, but I would question, like, dang, like, like, you know, like, where's that, God? You know, sometimes we can get frustrated, you know? It's okay we get frustrated. Even people in the Bible got frustrated, man. 
But hey, even in the midst of that, I never lost the faith. I never lost the faith, bro. But I would say this though, I would say this, if, if you don't want to get married, that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. But um, if, you, if you do choose to get married for, for you woman who got, want to get married, make sure it's a man who's, who's all in, 100% in the truth, okay? And y'all ladies, are, start humbling yourself, be, being submissive, okay? Uh, get deliverance from the soul ties. All the men y'all been with in the world, okay? It's sad because the average woman by the age of 25, she has 10, 20 bodies. And if, if, you have, if you're trying to get into a marriage, right? When you got 10, 20 spirits still in you, the marriage is gonna fail. You gotta see true deliverance, guys. You gotta be willing to become clean, man. And see, how, how can you be delivered, guys? How can you become clean and not defiled? By 100% surrendering. No being lukewarm, no serving two masters, no having one foot in and one foot out. Uh-uh, nope. Someone said, Mark, the weed simulation is the worst. What do you mean by that, bro? The weed simulation. I don't know. Um, I don't know what you mean by that, but uh, when you get older in life, guys, all the weed, drugs, pills—that's old, bro. I don't even think about doing that type of stuff anymore. No like that's dead, bro. I'd rather be high off doing God's will. I, I, I truly feel like I'm high off life. Like getting high and stuff like that—that's that's dead energy. That has to go, bro. You can't get to the next level in life, guys, holding on to old devils. You can't, bro. To get to the next level in life, a lot of you guys—you you wondering why I'm trying to elevate. I'm trying to reach new heights. And nothing's really changing, right? Nothing because you haven't been willing to give up these devils. You haven't been willing to give up these sins, give up certain people. Y'all ain't and see if you ain't willing to do that. I'm telling you, you'll never reach to where you're, you're calling in life. You'll never, you'll never reach what God has planned for you, bro. High, high off the Holy Spirit, yes, man. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. Someone said, uh, shout out to being bold for Jesus for the super chat says, peace has a name. Joey has a name. Love has a name. That name is Jesus. Abide in the word for there is only truth in the word. Jesus died to give us victory on the third day. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen, bro. That's facts. Yes, that's what we need in life, guys. A lot of people, they're empty, right? And see, they don't understand. How could they fill the empty void, guys? It's through Jesus, through the spirit. The spirit that raised up Jesus uh, from the dead, that's what the spirit you need. God. That's the spirit everyone needs, bro. Romans chapter 8, verse 11. Okay, the spirit that rose up Jesus from the dead, that's that empty void. That's what you need. That, that's why you feel empty. That's why you always got to smoke. That's why you're always feeling, you know, even guys, even there's times where I'm isolated, I, I don't feel like I'm alone. The Holy Spirit is in me. I don't feel like it. That's why people are like, Mario, how do, you, how do you do it? And at the time, I didn't know because I was like, I don't know. I just feel good. Like, I just, I'm, I'm chilling, bro. But now I understand, like, it's the Holy Spirit, the comforter. So I'm chilling, bro. Now, let me make this very clear, too. God, God is about balance, okay? Even he says in his word that there's a season for everything. Okay, there's a season where you're going to be chilling, having friends like that, you know, having, you know, uh, um, brothers and sisters, you know, tr you know, true friends of, you know, of God. Because the Bible does say friends of the world is the enemy of God. God. So I'm not saying you're going to have, like, worldly friends. But, you know, there's, there's always a time for everything under the sun. It's all about balance. But I'm not, when I say balance, though, I'm not telling you, okay, let's, let's, let's balance life of a sin. Like, nah, I'm not saying that, okay? Because a lot of people might twist my words. When I'm saying that having a balance is, okay, you're not going to be always isolated. You're not going to always be alone. It's just a season, guys. It's just a, it's just a season, okay? And every, there's a time to love, a time to hate, a, a time for war, a time for peace, a time to give and a time to take. That's balance, right? So always keep that in mind, guys. And that's why when you, when you understand that, you don't operate, you know, so self-righteous, over over righteous. You don't operate like that, man. It's always a season for everything. Right now, so that, that sister that said, Oh, Mark, I want to get married. You might feel that way this season, but your flesh is gonna get weak. And now you're gonna want to have a husband. It's all season, guys. It's all season. It's all season, man. And see, someone said it's okay, it's okay to have only associates. Yeah, well, as a chosen one, guys. You're not going to have much friends, man. I'm going to just let you all know right now. You're not going to have much friends. You're going to have business partners. You're going to have associates. And that's about it, bro. <laughs> you know, when it comes to like friends, it's like that. That's about it. You're not going to have much people. You're not, you're not going to have much people, guys. As a chosen one, nope. Mm -mm. Just, it just It won't happen. It just won't. Not to say you're never going to have no friends. But it's just going to be business partners, associates. Man, that's about it, guys telling y'all man the 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 way the, the narrow way is you know is lonely bro and the more narrow you go the more you go down the more lonely you get facts facts man 
Someone says, shout out to, uh, wait, let me click on it. Someone says, your light is going to bother a lot of people. Oh, yeah. Yep, your light, that's true. Your light is going to be, it's going to bother a lot of people. Facts. It's going to bother those demons inside people. Okay, that light, it bothers, it bother, see, people don't understand they got spirits. People don't understand why they don't like you. They don't really understand, man, but like I said, guys, it's all spiritual. When you have the Holy Spirit and they have demons, your spirit bothers and irritates their demons, guys. I'm trying to tell you all some real stuff. Try to tell y'all some real stuff, man. Your light irritates your demons. Yep. Yep, yep. Uh, shout out to Mike. Shout out to Mike. He left a super chat. Says, appreciate all the knowledge you've been giving us, Mark. Stay blessed, my brother. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate all the support. Man, the support is, is real today, guys. It's, it's real, man. I appreciate it all, man. Someone says, a city on the hill cannot be hidden. Yep. That's in Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 to 16. Okay, you are you are the light of the world. You're the salt of the world. Okay? Think about when you eat food, right? You want to have, you know, a little season on a little, a little salt. That's why God, the Bible says, us Hebrews, we're all scattered. Okay, we're all scattered around the whole world. You gotta have some salt here, some salt there, some salt here. Yep. Yep. Someone said hit the like button. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yep. Guys, can you hear me well? Because there's like a lot some loud background noise. Can y'all hear me well? Y'all saying yeah? Okay, okay. Just have to just have to make sure. Maybe it's just, I guess the camera, does, the phone doesn't detect it, for sure. Okay. But yeah, man. Wait, what do you want to say? Wait, it won't let me read that. It won't let me read that, bro. Dang. All right, someone left a super chat. Let me shout you out. Hold up. Someone says, shout out to Katarina. She says, Mark, thank you. I appreciate all you do. I appreciate you and all you do for God's kingdom. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, sis. Thank you so much. Someone said, do you have friends from high school? Um, no, nah, I think I cut all them off. Yeah, I think I think I cut all the high school. Yeah, I think I cut all them off. Yep. But man, man, it's, it's been a pleasure. It's been an honor building with y'all guys. This live was lit. Okay, I'm going to be posting this on my main channel tomorrow. I'm gonna t After this live, guys, I'm taking it off. Don't worry, I'll, I'll repost it. I'll repost it tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific time, California time tomorrow. Um, I appreciate all the support. Everyone who liked the video, who shares my videos, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys subscribe to my live stream channel. I mark the messenger space live. Not you guys already, the people when I'm going to post on my main channel. But I appreciate y'all. Y'all say y'all love me. No, I love you guys, man. Y'all, man, I could be going on, bro, but it's all energy. I'm going to say this. It's all energy. You guys showing me love. I'm feeding off the energy. I'm feeding off. See, these demons, they feed off energy in a negative, demonic way. Us chosen ones, us righteous ones, we feed off it in a righteous way. Oh, you, you're showing support? Oh, let me go in. Let me go harder. Oh, you're, so, you're showing support? All right, I'm going to make this a little bit longer. That's all. We got, that's all. We got to be feeding off each other in, in a righteous way, okay? The demons, they do it in a negative way. They just want to drain your energy, make you, make you feel drained, okay? But yes, guys, I love y'all so much, man. It's an honor. I'm going to make this a habit, guys. Every Sunday, Every Sunday night, I'm going live. I might get a, get a new location. I'm not sure if I'm going to be here. So far, they didn't kick me out. So, may, might see me up here again. So, I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. Someone left a demon emoji. Hey, get that person out of here. We, don't, we ain't no, uh-uh. We, we ain't on no demon time. Get that person out of here. Danae said, I love God and I love you. I love you too. Please make a video about narcissist spouses. Okay. Pray for me, Mark. Okay, Marilyn, I got you. Thank you all again. I love you guys so much. Mount peace.